ஹலோ கர் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செஷன் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் திஸ் இஸ் அ டிஆர்ஆர் ஆஃப் த டே எல்ஆர் கேஸ் லிட் ஆன் பெர்சன்டேஜஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டிசைன்ட் ஃப்ரம் த கேட் நைன்டீன் நைன்ட்டி ஆக்சுவல் கேட் கொஷன் பேப்பர் வி ஆர் சால்விங் ஆக்சுவல் கேட் செட்ஸ் பெர்சன்டேஜ் கேஸ் லெட்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ளீஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தே ஆர் டெஸ்டட் ஈவன் நவ் அண்ட் ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ த கேஸ் லெட் ரைட் தேர் இன் யோர் ஸ்க்ரீன் ஐ வுட் ரியலி ஹோப் யூ யூ பாஸ் த வீடியோ ரைட் நவ் and read the caselet well okay you will see caselets like this left right and center there are only three question to this caselet but that does not take away the fact that this was not very easy okay all right so first of all let's read the caselet and try to make some deductions out of it it talks about ghosh babu has a certain amount of property consisting of cash gold coin and silver bars so how many variables you can see three variables interesting the cost of the gold coin is 4000 and the cost of the silver bar is 1000 great ghosh babu decided that or distributed his property among his daughters equally great he's distributed his property equally how many daughters does he have he gave the eldest one gold coin worth 20% of the total property and 25000 in cash the second daughter was given bars worth rupees 20% and remaining uh, property 50000 in cash he then gave each of the third and the fourth daughters equal number of gold coins and silver bars uh, both together accounting for the 20% of the property remaining every time i read this thing remaining it makes some sense in my mind after the previous distribution and rupees 25000 more than the second daughter had received in cash great so please understand now we will uh, try to understand the data there could be n number of ways how you can solve this set okay so you can start off by assuming total property p 1/4 of uh, that p goes to the daughter plus 25k and then you can say 4/5 of p minus 25k and you can actually do whole lot of things okay and then from there also you will see that there will be a bifurcation from here also you will see a bifurcation this is a clear case you know tree generative tree kind of a structure okay and these type of questions are very common in cat now what we need to do is that we need to solve this set but we need to solve it methodically i'm going to give you a, met- a methodical way to solve this set what i would want to do is how many variables were you were told to us so we were told gold coins we were told silver bars and we were told cash great how many daughters we have we have daughter 1 daughter 2 daughter 3 and daughter 4 if you realize i have not even read the questions part of the reason is because this is a percentage case let and i don't see any problems whatsoever okay let's make uh, the deductions this is not at all going to be that difficult i hope is just that we need to keep our eyes open first of all gold coins that first daughter is getting is 20% of the total property please understand that all the four daughter gets the property divided distributed equally what does that tells me it only tells me that everybody is getting 25% of the property this is first line of deduction that should come to your head make sense if i am the first one is getting 20% of the property no silver bar and 25000 25k in cash is this not 5% of the property this should be the 5% of the property because 20% of the property is distributed in gold coins you should make the deduction if 5% corresponds to let's say 25000 100% of the property will corresponds to how much and it should not take you 5 seconds to realize this is 500000 okay so the total property is 500000 what that means is every one of them is getting 25% of this which is 125k great everybody is getting 125k and please remember i am using k as a, a, you know short form for 1000 so k for kilo 125 over here also great now let's jot down the information that i know 20% of 5 lakh is how much tell me that is 1 lakh right so either i can use directly one i can write 1 lakh but i would like to keep it like this only so i will write 100k and 25k over there no silver bar for the first daughter second daughter 
is getting second daughter is getting silver bars worth rupees 20% of the remaining property my dear friends the remaining property is 375 because 500 minus 125 what is going to be 20% of 375 that is 37.5 into 2 that is how much 75 yeah so silver bar worth rupees 75 and 50,000 cash, no gold coin here, great. This also adds up to 125, great. Now the last bit information tells me, he then gave each of the third and the fourth daughter equal number of gold coins on silver bar, 20% of the remaining property. All right, so the third and the fourth, how much is remaining? 250 gone, 250 remaining, 20% of the remaining is how much? 10% would be 25,000. And 20% would be 50,000. So in all, in what uh, ratio, I don't know, but they're getting 50,000 worth of gold coin and silver bars. Okay, over here also 50k, I can very easily write. And 25,000 more than the second daughter. Second daughter is how much? 50k, 25, 75. This was pretty evident, I guess. This was pretty evident because 50 plus 75 only give me 125. Great. Let's answer the questions. The questions will be answered very easily. The first one, the amount of property in gold and silver possessed by Ghosh Babu is. All right, this is an interesting one. Let's just calculate. Just add the column wise, the first column and the second column, the summation of the first and the second column. Or if you are a little, you know, smart, you would do this. You will add this, which is how much? 150 plus 50 is 200, 225. So if 225 is over there, this is the remaining that has to be 275. So this is 275k. So this is 275k for the first answer. The next one, the next one, total property of Ghosh Babu in lakh is 5 lakhs. This is something which calculate, that we calculated in the very beginning. Last question, if Ghosh Babu had equal number of gold and silver bars, then the number of silver bars he has. Now please understand, if we have to make the gold and silver bar equal we need equal quantity we can equate the quantity only under a certain condition we know that one gold coin one gold coin costs 4000 and one silver bar costs 1000 if you take the ratio that is 4 is to 1 in other words if i let's say if i call this a single unit a single entity okay that entity 4k plus 1k will become 5k and this 5k is equal to 275 that means 55k is equals to 55 total number of that unit total number of those coins or those bars will be equal to 55 make sense great so this was a very easy set easy because you know we are in 2024 and we have solved multiple sets like this is this relevant for cat quantitative abilities definitely is it relevant for dilr yes definitely thank you